Hello, allow me to introduce myself. I am Kristen Imlay. I am a senior and I'm actually graduating this May. So I thoroughly enjoyed this non-Western literature class and I think it's safe to say that my favorite unit was Caribbean literature. Uh, in particular, I enjoyed Lorna Goodison's book of poetry, Turn Thanks. My favorite poem was, I have spent these snowbound days away from myself. I find this poem so brilliant because it exemplifies an important quality of Caribbean literature, the importance of the poet's personal experience. What I find incredible is that Goodison is able to take a collection of her unique experiences of Caribbean life and share them with the world. Sharing these personal experiences puts so much emotion and gravity into our text that they are universally relatable, which is likely why this is such an intimate poem. I have spent these snowbound days away from myself is a poem about displacement. Goodison, removed from the warm Caribbean, is living in a cold land foreign to her. It is likely that she's referring to America, which according to her biography, she currently lives and teaches in Michigan. The overall point of the poem is to show the detrimental effects of a person being removed from their cultural epicenter, losing the tight-knit network of family and friends that share many of these same experiences strips a person of their comfort, their identity, their sense of self. Goodison writes in her poem, Who am I? I asked the woman that I was dressed in, and she, not knowing either, shrank back from her skin. This stanza shows the physical disconnect a person can develop towards themselves, which is a frightening truth for migrant people or anyone really undertaking a significant move. There is a crisis of identity evident when Goodison writes, The woman I was dressed in, as though on the inside she is someone else completely. This paints the picture of someone looking into a mirror and seeing a stranger. Her mind and her body are mismatched because her soul has been torn from the place where she has a sense of belonging. This poem is extremely valuable for anyone who has experienced a significant life change, regardless of it being physical relocation, migration, or other life event. Major life events like this can have a way of disorienting the self, and Goodison shows that this periodic disassociation is natural, which is a comfort to her readers. At the end of the poem, the narrator shows signs that she's beginning to resettle gone in search of my identity. Don't wait for me. There is a combination of settling, resettling, reestablishing, and reinventing oneself in the attempt to recreate identity. Goodison is telling her readers that these things take both time and work. Through sharing her own experience moving from the Caribbean to America, she has given her readers a beacon of hope. Thank you.